Hi, and welcome to another presentation from Your Business Tutor. Learning your way, anytime, anywhere. If there was one phrase that would sum up today's presentation, it would be the importance of community. And that's why we're going to be looking at third sector organisations. So what will we learn today? First of all, we'll find out what a third sector organisation is. And after that, we'll identify the features of third sector organisations. So what is a third sector organisation? Put simply, it's any organisation which is not in the private or public sector. And therefore would include organisations such as social enterprises, charities and clubs. So what is a social enterprise? Put simply, it's an organisation that's run like a business in the private sector, but rather than being run for private gain, is run for social good to enhance society. And would include organisations such as The 15 Restaurant, The Big Issue and Wild Hearts. So what is the purpose of a social enterprise? Put simply, social enterprises are set up to raise awareness of particular issues that affect society. So for example, a social enterprise might be set up to deal with the issue of homelessness or to deal with the issue of socially excluded. But what they want to do is not do this through charity, but do it through a sustainable business model where you create jobs and you create opportunity for people who are disadvantaged. So a perfect example of this is the big issue, who don't just give homeless people money. What they say to them is, you can raise your own money by selling the Big Issue magazine. And by earning your own money, that hopefully will give you enough to find accommodation to get you off the streets. So another reason why social enterprises are set up is because they are maintaining services within society. Sometimes the public sector or the private sector under provide certain things. And that's when a social enterprise can step in and enhance a service. So for example, if there's not enough sporting facilities for young people in a local area, maybe a social enterprise would be set up to enhance that service so that young people can access sport. Now, although a social enterprise is run like a business and tries to be self-financing, we have to realise that these organisations do sometimes require additional finance and therefore sometimes other organisations in the public sector or the private sector will provide finance or grants to them in order to ensure that the services they provide continue. Now you might not be aware of this, but the number of social enterprises being created in the UK is increasing rapidly. And this is because people like to be part of an organisation that's not just there for self-interest, but is there to enhance society. And as a consequence, social enterprises appeal to customers because they want to be seen to be supporting an organisation that helps society. It also appeals to employees. People want to work for an organisation that's not just there for its own interests, but is there to help people who are disadvantaged, who are socially excluded. And also, investors like to be seen to be helping organisations that are helping society, that are helping people in difficult situations. So what is a charity? A charity is an organisation which raises donations to support a particular cause or a particular issue. For example, they might raise donations to deal with poverty or to help people who are socially excluded. So organisations that would be classified as charities would include RSPCA, which deals with sick animals and looks after them. Children First, which looks after children and makes sure that their needs are cared for. And also Oxfam, which aims to reduce poverty in society. So now we can turn and look at how a charity is run and managed. At a management level, there's what's called a board of trustees. And these are people who manage the charity at a national or local level and make sure that it operates within the law. But on the ground, 
A charity will also have dedicated volunteers who help to work in the shops or go out and collect the donations in order that the charity can run day to day. So what is the purpose of a charity? Well, very much like a social enterprise, a charity raises awareness of particular issues of concern to society. For example, poverty, homelessness, social exclusion. But what they also do is they provide a, a safety net to protect those people who have maybe fallen through the gaps in society, who have become homeless, and therefore give them a chance to pick themselves up and get back into society. Now, as we can see, a charity and a social enterprise are very similar in terms of what they're trying to achieve. However, how they do this is completely different. A charity does it by raising donations, whereas a social enterprise does it by running as a business to make profit, which then it reinvests into society. So let's turn to our final third sector organisation, and that is a club. So what is a club? A club is an organisation that provides a service to its membership. Now the members of the club usually have to pay for the service and they do this through what's called a subscription. They'll maybe pay a monthly amount or a yearly amount to be a member of the club. And the club might be something like a golf club or a youth club or a sports club. So let's now turn to how a club is managed and run. Generally, most clubs will have two or three paid officials who run or manage the organisation on a day-to-day -day basis. They do the accounts, they do all the ordering of stock for the club shop and such like. But what a club also has is a membership. And many of the members will volunteer their time to set up particular activities within the club to make sure the club runs smoothly and efficiently. So what is the purpose of a club? Generally, a club is set up by people that have a particular interest or hobby. And what the club does is it allows you to meet up with other people that have that similar interest and hobby in order that you can talk about it and explore more things around that hobby. So what did we learn today? Well, first of all, we found out about third sector organisations. And after that, we found out about the features of different third sector organisations. You remember at the beginning of this presentation that we said, the phrase, the importance of community, summed up third sector organisations. And hopefully as you've gone through this presentation, you can see that that point has been made. Because third sector organisations are all about providing benefit to society, about helping people who are disadvantaged or who are socially excluded.